<laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, happy April 15th. Um, we are really excited to get to worship with you guys in your homes today. Um, my name's Shelly. This is my husband Rob and our daughter Naomi who's joining us on the Cajon. Uh, so we just want to invite you to find a space and uh, worship with us this uh, afternoon. If you have any prayer requests, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments section and we want to be praying for you throughout the week um, So yeah, here we go
we're so glad to have you guys joining us this afternoon. Um, I'm going to, uh, I wanted to read from Psalm 18, but before I do that, I'm just going to say today I have been feeling so much anxiety welling up um, in just in my soul. And it's, uh, I mean, the Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing, um, but it's a lot easier said than done. Huh? <laughs> and uh, so just as we're worshiping, like I'm just, it, it's just a reminder that as we set our eyes on the Lord, as we set our eyes on uh, his greatness, how uh, everything else seems to just kind of fade away. Um, I uh, heard a, a, a pastor once say that um, if we look at our, uh, if we look at God through our troubles, he seems small, but if we look at our troubles through God, then they look small. And it's just a reminder to keep our eyes fixed on God. Um, I was going to read from Psalm 18 this morning. I guess it's not really morning anymore. This afternoon, uh, I love uh, I love the way that this song or this psalm just describes God as our defender. We uh, just sang "Raise a Hallelujah," which talks about how heaven comes to fight for me, and the description in this psalm of God coming down from his throne to fight on our behalf is really amazing. I'm not going to read the whole uh, the whole 50 verses, but I'm going to read part of it here. In verse 2, it says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. Going down a little bit, it says, The ropes of death entangled me. Floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death laid a trap in my path. But in my distress, I called out to, I cried out to God. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. Mm -hmm. Then the earth quaked and trembled. The foundations of the mountains shook. They quaked because of his anger. Smoke poured from his nostrils. Fierce flames leapt from his mouth. Glowing coals blazed forth from him. He opened the heavens and came down. Dark storm clouds were beneath his feet. Mounted on a mighty angelic being, he flew, soaring on the wings of the wind. He shrouded himself in darkness, veiling his approach with dark rain clouds. Thick clouds shielded the brightness around him and rained down hail and burning coals. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded amid the hail and burning coals. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. Great bolts of lightning flashed and they were confused. Then at the com at your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. Isn't that always how Satan is? I feel like he, he just kicks us when we're down, huh? Verse 19, he led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. I just love that psalm. I love the description in that psalm of how mighty, how majestic our God is. And so this, uh, this afternoon, we're going to sing a couple more songs and then we're going to pray. Um, if there's anything in your life that you want prayer for, please share and you're willing to share, please share that in the comments. Um, if you want to, to message us privately at the Mountain View Facebook page, you're welcome to do that as well. Um, but we just want to be praying for you throughout the week and, uh, and, and today we just want to lift you up in prayer and and come alongside you and uh, and and be there for you. We're gonna sing a couple more songs. Uh, this next song is so perfect. Uh, if you like me have been uh, dealing with just some anxiety this week, 
uh, or in this season of life. We're going to sing this here.
humbly call upon your name, asking you for supernatural peace and strength. In Ephesians 6, the Apostle Paul speaks of the spiritual power of prayer. As we pray today, we're fully engaged in arms for battle against COVID-19. Your word says that when we pray according to your will, our prayers are mighty and powerful. You, God, are our rock, shield, and fortress. Lord, protect our families, churches, cities, and nations all around the globe from the effects of COVID-19. We ask you to put fresh words of faith, comfort, healing, and salvation in the mouths of your people around the world. Give pastors and their congregations the words they need to fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. We pray that through this prayer of faith today, fear and worry will lose its grip over our world. Lord, we declare and we ask you to shield us, our families, our churches, our cities, and our nations of the world from the ravages of COVID-19. Lord, we ask you to shield all doctors, nurses, first responders, and vulnerable people from contracting COVID-19. And Lord, we ask you to shield the world from panic and despair as your church boldly proclaims the good news of Jesus Christ. In this uncertain time, may people find true comfort and peace in their souls as you are the one that they call upon. We ask all these things in your powerful name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon for some prayer and worship. We want to pray for you. If you have any prayer requests, please uh, put those in the comments or send us a message. We want to be praying for you and with you throughout the week. We love you guys. and. We hope that you uh, go throughout this week with just a, a sense of God's presence, mm -hmm. with uh, his peace, and uh, that uh, you would understand that you carry his presence with you wherever you go. We love you. Have a great week. Bye, Bye everyone.